ever seen this screen? Enter your BitLocker recovery key. Most people haven't, but when it happens, it's game over. Your computer won't boot, your files are gone, and your entire digital life is locked tighter than Fort Knox. And guess who has the key? Not you. Microsoft does. Yeah, the same company that helpfully turned it on for you without telling you. Welcome back, everyone. Grumpy Sysadmin here, cutting through the chaos when Microsoft strikes again. Today, we're talking about one of the sneakiest, most misunderstood features in Windows, BitLocker. It sounds harmless, right? Like some cute little lock icon. But under the hood, this thing decides whether you see your data ever again. And I'm going to show you exactly how to find, back up, and protect your BitLocker key before the day comes when you actually need it. But before I begin, just a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. This video does not promote piracy, does not violate any copyright, or break any community guidelines. Please do your own research and follow at your own risk what BitLocker really does. So what is BitLocker? It's software built right into Windows that encrypts your entire hard drive, every single file, folder, and system bit. Sounds pretty smart, right? Until you realize it means this. If your PC is stolen, lost, or even if you pull the drive out to recover files, everything is locked. Completely unreadable. That's good for security, but terrible if you ever need access and you don't have your key. And get this. On Windows 11 Home, BitLocker gets turned on automatically the moment you sign into your Microsoft account for the first time. You didn't choose it. You didn't click enable, it just happened. And the key, it's stored only in your Microsoft account online. So if that account gets locked, deleted, or you can't sign in, your data is gone forever. Let that sink in. Why you should care. Maybe you're thinking, I'll never need that key. Famous last words. Here's how people lose everything. A TPM chip fails. A BIOS update resets your security settings. Or you swap out a motherboard or CPU and suddenly Windows thinks it's a different machine. And boom, you're staring at that recovery screen. And the only thing that can unlock it? That 48-digit BitLocker key. You don't have it memorized. You never saved it. And Microsoft? They'll politely say, check your account. If you can't, sorry, you're done. So here's the question. Who really owns your data? If you can't even open your own hard drive without big tech's permission, do you? This is why I'm showing you this now, because most people only learn about BitLocker after they've lost everything. And you, the smart ones watching this, you're going to back up that key before this happens. Step 1. Check if you're encrypted. Let's start by checking if BitLocker is even turned on. Go to your Start menu and type BitLocker. If you're running Windows Home, click on Device Encryption Settings. Otherwise, click on Manage BitLocker. In Home, if you see Device Encryption on, or in the others, if you see BitLocker on next to your drive, congratulations or condolences, it's running. If it says BitLocker or Device Encryption off, you're not encrypted yet. Step 2. Find your recovery key. Here's how you get that key. If you're running Windows Home, open a web browser and go to account.microsoft.com forward slash devices forward slash recovery key. Sign in with a Microsoft account you used on that particular PC. You should see a list of devices. Click the one that matches. Copy that long 48-digit number and save it. Save it to USB drive, print it out, or put it somewhere offline. Never store it in your email. Never leave it in a plain text on your desktop. Because what good's that going to do when the computer is crashed? Because when your computer fails, it is broken. And trust me, it will. You don't want to be the person on Reddit begging strangers to crack your encrypted drive. It doesn't work. Nobody's breaking 256-bit encryption with a magic script. So save yourself the heartbreak and the embarrassment. Step 3. Windows Pro Users Now, if you're running Windows 11 Professional, 
things are a little different. BitLocker isn't turned on automatically. To check or back up your key, open the Start menu and type BitLocker again. Choose Back Up Your Recovery Key. You can save it to a file, print it, or store it in your Microsoft account. Personally, I say print it and put it in a fireproof box. Because when Microsoft changes something, and they always do, your printed copy doesn't care. Step 4. What if you want to turn it off? You can disable BitLocker. Click Turn Off BitLocker and it'll decrypt your drive. But should you? Not unless you really know what you're doing. Modern PCs handle encryption just like it's nothing. No slowdown, no lag, no battery hit. So keep the protection on. Just make sure you have the key. Because security that locks you out isn't security. It's stupidity. Common questions or misconceptions. Does BitLocker backup automatically? No, it uploads your key to your Microsoft account, not your hard drive. Can Microsoft unlock my drive for me? Absolutely not. Not even they can do that. Can I just reset Windows and bypass it? Nope. That drive is sealed tighter than a bank vault. Can third-party tools recover it? Not a chance. This is government or military-grade encryption. If you lose the key, it's gone forever. Real-world horror story. I've seen it happen. A friend emailed me last year. Their laptop crashed and BitLocker kicked in, and the recovery key was in a Microsoft account he couldn't access anymore. Years of photos, tax files, everything. Gone. That's why I'm hammering this point. You will never get that data back without your key. Ever. So back it up right now. Step 5. How to store your key safely. Here's what I recommend. Save one copy to a USB drive that stays offline. Print one copy and store it somewhere secure, like a fireproof safe. Optional, save an encrypted copy in your password manager if you trust it. Three locations, offline, redundant, and bulletproof. Bonus tip, enterprise and work devices. Now, if this is a company device, don't panic. Your IT department probably manages your BitLocker keys automatically through Azure AD or Active Directory. That means they can unlock it if needed. But if it's your personal computer, this responsibility falls on you. Nobody is coming to save your files. So let's summarize. Check if BitLocker or device encryption is turned on. Find your recovery key. Back it up in at least two secure places. Don't disable encryption unless you know what you're doing. Do that and you'll never have to panic when Windows decides to lock you out of your own drive. If you found this helpful, don't wait. Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out my other videos on protecting your system from Microsoft's features. And if you really want to support the channel, become a member. You'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes content, and a direct access to me on Discord when you need help. Don't wait until it's too late to realize your data's gone. Take 10 minutes, find your key, and keep your sanity. Because when Windows locks you out, you'll be glad you did. I'm the Grumpy Sysadmin reminding you, stay safe, stay secure, and of course, stay grumpy.